liberals, you're not ready for renewables. You're not ready for housing and, and having to pay for a complete infrastructure on batteries. You're not ready for the construction of the brand new technology in actual solar and wind. You're not ready for it. And wave technology, that's renewable. I want you to sit back and think what you what you what do you think is renewable because I know what's renewable. You're not ready for it. You keep calling about this is going to reduce. No, it's not. The current technology is dirtier than coal technology. Why? Because they've been trying to get coal clean for a very long time and they have succeeded. Under the last president, the greenhouse gases and the actual pollution, which is what you should be concerned with, was reduced by something like 70%. In four years, the pollution and greenhouse gases was reduced under the last president by 70%. But you all were, were, were so set on, we need to be a part of the, the Paris Accords uh, that you didn't actually see the forest for the trees. The Paris Accords sets us back, reduces the economy, reduces the lifestyle of Americans. It's, it's bad. Paris Accord bad. Technology from Shikama, super duper good, but you're not ready for it. Let's keep going. Batteries that charge in 10 minutes. Your cell phone that charges in 10 minutes. Batteries that last 10 times their current rates. Four days. Some batteries, some battery technology, for weeks. Batteries the size of the head of your pinky. Batteries that won't have any sort of disaster exploding and all that sort of stuff. Cell phone batteries, charges that last days, even under heavy use, using a camera, using videos. Cell phone are un have unbreakable screens. This is all part of the technology. Water filtration that can filter out everything, including nuclear waste and radiation. Water filtration that can desalinize seawater into 100% drinking water without any expenditure of uh, energy. That's been the drawback of desalinization of our oceans because it costs so much because you have to put out tremendous amounts of energy to desalinize, to desalinize in the current technology. But this technology doesn't require that. Lights that last 100 times longer. A microchip's the size of atoms, which means everything that uses a microchip can almost be invisible from now on. Bulletproof material, the width of a t-shirt. Actually, it's, it's much less, but I'm assuming you would want a t-shirt or something uh, to cover you. Shoes and running shoes, actually, I guess they could spray it on you and you would be uh, bulletproof, but that doesn't mean that if somebody shot you, you couldn't break your ribs or something like that, right? So it wouldn't stop, imp it wouldn't stop impact, it would stop penetration. Shoes and running shoes that last almost forever. Uh, computers that run 100 times faster than they currently do uh, with 100 times less power. The size of a playing card. So all of the bells and whistles that you have now in a giant full tower computers uh, that you pack your mega, mega, mega game compu gaming computer on, uh, that uh, no, was no longer needed. Uh, but here's the problem. The substance costs 100 times its same weight in gold per ounce. And there's no way around it because our current technology takes that long just to produce the substance. So no, we can't eradicate hunger and thirst in Africa, cure diseases in Africa, and end modern day slavery in Africa due to mining cobalt uh, 